Hey guys, my name is Robert Walker. I'm the fitness center director here at Northeast. Uh, we have two new really nice outdoor fitness equipment uh, pieces we want to tell you about today and hopefully show you how to use them. I'm standing right, right out in front of White Hall. We also have one station next to the pool in between Wood and Murphy. So you can actually do 12 different workouts on this piece of equipment. Today we're going to demonstrate seven. The first two we're going to do is the bicep curl and the tricep push down. And in order to do that, this piece of equipment actually has a weight stack in, inside of it. And here's how you change the weight. You have to put your finger right here, pull this glass up, select this rod, pull it out, and push it up or down depending how much weight you want to have. It clicks into place and then you're good to go. The first workout we're going to do today is the bicep curl. So Sarah's changed her weight to a nice comfortable weight. She's keeping her elbows into her side and she's curling up. This workout works the bicep, which is the front part of the arm right here. The next workout we're going to do is the tricep press down. Again, Sarah's changed her weight. She's keeping her elbow into her side and she's moving her hands up and down, pressing down, working the tricep, which is the back of the arm right here. The next workout we're going to do is the tricep dip. For the tricep dip and for the chin up slash pull up, you can use this assisted bar right here to stand on so you're not doing your full body weight. So for the tricep dip, Sarah has her hands on the bar, she's coming down and she's pressing all the way up. Again, she's working the back part of her arm, the shoulders, and the chest area. The next workout is the pull-up. So again, she's got her foot on the assist, taking some of the weight off, and she's pulling up. Right here, Sarah's working her lats. Right here, right below her arms, which is part of her back. Now we're going to get Sarah to demonstrate the abdominal knee raise station. So, this works your lower abs. She's picking her knees straight up in the air, or you can extend your legs and fully pick them up in the air. And this is level two. This is a little bit harder way to do it to get a better workout. All right, now we're going to show you how to do the lower back extension. So you want to make sure for safety's sake right here to lock your heels in, lean over the rail, put your hands over your chest and crossing, and then go down and up. Now right here, Sarah is working her lower back muscles as she comes up and extends. The last workout of the day is the squat assist station. So to do this workout, you want to put one foot on each rail, lean back on the glider, put your hands right here in the handles, and then start squatting up and down. This is a great workout for the thighs, the glutes, the quads, and the hamstrings.